Hello everybody, this is one of the very best times to be explaining the second shifting theorem in inverse Laplace transform. So this is class 2 if you know this. As I said, few problems have solved few problems in class 1 and the remaining problems I am going to solve in this video. So first of all, I would like to state the statement of this second shifting theorem. See here, if inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t in general, then inverse Laplace transform of e power minus a s into f of s is equal to f of t minus a with t greater than a and 0 if t less than a. See here, this is the main formula that is whenever it is of the form e power minus a s into f of s, we have to write in the form f of t minus a with t greater than a and 0 if t less than a. If I take this, if I open this f of t minus a, then what is remind 1 if t greater than a and 0 if t less than a. So this is nothing but unit step function or this heavy side function. So this bracket can be written as h of t minus a as you have already uh, read in Laplace transform that is h of t minus a is nothing but 1 if t positive and 0 if t less than a. So this is the second shifting theorem. So the final second shifting theorem is inverse Laplace transform of e power a s into f of s is nothing but f of t minus a with t positive and 0 if t less than a. So these are the few examples to be solved using this second shifting theorem. So here, so I have solved few problems in my class 1 and I am going to solve the remaining problems. So see here, inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 3s into s minus 4 whole square. When you see of the form, the question is of the form e power minus as. So we have to choose the second shifting theorem from inverse Laplace. As it is indicated that is inverse Laplace. So whenever the question is of the form e power as form, we have to choose the second shifting theorem. So here also e power minus as. So here if you see this e power 2s, you can bring to the numerator then it will become e power minus 2s so we have to use a second shifting theorem so this question is also in the form of e power minus as so we have to use the second shifting theorem to solve these problems so if you see what the problems these are so i have to solve this problem for you that is e power See here, here is the question for you. In, to find the inverse Laplace transform of 3 plus 5s by s square into e power 2s. So, I how I will reform it? So, this can be written as 3 plus 5s by s square into e power minus 2s. If I take it to the numerator, then it will become minus 2s. So, the question is of the form inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 2s into 3 plus 5s by s square. Now, the question is of the form e power minus a s into f of s. So, then what is f of s if you see clearly from the screen? What is f of s value? So, I will take f of s value as 3 plus 5s by s square. I will apply inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So, inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 3 plus 5s by s square. So, which is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 3 by s square plus 5s by s square. So, which is equal to 3 times of inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square plus 5 times of inverse Laplace transform of s by s square if i cancel it for one time it will be one by s so this is three times of inverse laplace transform of one by s square plus five times of inverse laplace transform of s so we got some formulae using the elementary functions we have inverse laplace transform of one by s square is nothing but t power one by one factorial and see here inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s is equal to 1. So make a note of it and substitute it will be 3 into so that is t by 1 is nothing but t plus this is 5 into 1. 
so which is equal to 3t plus 5 which is equal to f of t we got f of t value as 3t plus 5 so what is f of t minus a what is the a value so a i have to take i have to compare a here so in place of a i have 2 so i have to write a as 2 so a is equal to 2 in place of f of t minus a i have to write t minus a plus 5 i want f of t minus 2 in place of a if i write t minus 2 it is 3 times of t minus 2 plus 5 which is equal to 3t minus 6 plus 5 and which is equal to 3t minus 5 so my f of t minus 2 value is ready with 3t minus 1 see here so now what i have to do i have to apply the second shifting theorem so what is the question here so if you look at the question so what is this question to find the inverse laplace transform of e power minus 2s into 3 plus 5s by s square so this is of the form e power minus a s into f of s for this using the second shifting theorem we have a formula f of t minus a for t greater than a and 0 if t less than a so what is this by using second shifting theorem by using sh sh second shifting theorem we have a formula here so in place of a i have two so i am substituting in place of a the question is 3 plus 5s by s square is equal to f of t minus what is in place of a 2 so f of t minus 2 where t greater than 2 and 0 if t less than 2 what is t minus a see here we got the value of t minus a as 3t minus 1 so if you see it is t f of t minus 3 is nothing but 3t minus 1 for t greater than 2 and 0 if t less than 2 so if i take this 3t minus 1 as common then it will be 1 if t greater than 2 and 0 if t less than 2. So this is nothing but the heavy side function h of t minus a. So the final answer for the question is inverse Laplace transform of minus 2s 3 plus 5s by s square is nothing but 3t minus 1 into h of t minus 2 where h of t minus 2 is a heavy side function or a unit step function so this is how we have to solve in my first video i have solved few problems and in my second video so these are the problems and which you can feel easy so this is of the form e power minus a s into f of s so i have chosen f of s as 3 plus 5 s by s square so what I have to do, I have to apply inverse Laplace transform. So I have to find inverse Laplace transform of f of s. So if I separate this, it will be 3 by s square plus 5s by s square. If I cancel and use this in a, some elementary functions, so it will be 3t plus 1. The final answer is 3t plus 5. So after that, in my formula, f of t minus a is needed. So I have to work out with this formula t minus a in place of a i have to write 2 depending upon the question so after placing t minus 2 so it will be 3t minus 6 plus 5 and it is 3t minus 1 so f of t minus 2 is ready as 3t minus 3t minus 1 and after substituting and using the second shifting theorem see this one so this is the question the second shifting theorem is e power minus a s f of s is nothing but f of t minus a with t positive one zero of t less than a. In place of f of t minus 2, I have to write as 3t minus 1. So, if I bring t t minus 1 as common, it will be 1 if t positive one zero if t less than 2. So, which is nothing but h of t minus 2. 
which is equal to a heaviside function. So the my next question is, see here, what is my next question? To find the inverse Laplace transform of e power minus pi s into s square plus 1. So this again can be written as inverse Laplace transform of e power minus a s into f of s. So this question is e power minus s pi into 1 by s square plus 1. So then what is the value of f of s here? So f of s is nothing but 1 by s square plus 1. If I apply inverse Laplace transform on both sides. See here inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 1. Then what is inverse Laplace transform of this one? So we already know that inverse Laplace transform of a by s square plus a square is nothing but sine a t. So in place of a we have 1. So this can be written as sine t which is equal to f of t. Our f of t value is ready as sine t. Now we have to use the second shifting theorem for that f of t minus a is needed. So for that it will be sine of t minus a. What is the a value here? If you compare this, a is nothing but, if you compare this, a is equal to pi. See carefully, a value is equal to pi. So, a value is equal to pi. So, then it will be f of t minus pi is equal to sine of t minus pi. See here it is f um, sine of t minus pi. So we have to use the second shifting theorem. What the second shifting theorem states? Inverse Laplace transform of e power minus a s into f of s is nothing but f of t minus a for t greater than a and 0 if t less than a. In this if I substitute the question e power minus pi s into 1 by s square plus 1 can be written as f of t minus what is pi value here what is a value here pi so t greater than pi and 0 if t less than pi what is f of t minus pi it is nothing but sine of t minus pi so i am substituting sine of t minus pi for t greater than pi and 0 if t less than pi if I bring this sine of t minus pi as common, so what it will be? 1 if t greater than pi and 0 if t less than pi, which is nothing but sine of t minus pi into h of t minus pi, where h of t minus pi is nothing but, as you all know, is heaviside function or unit step function or the unit step function see it's very easy using second shifting theorem we have to solve whenever the question is of the form e power a s so you have to identify it's an inverse laplace transform so we have to write it in the form e power a s into f of s we got f of s value as 1 by s square plus 1 after taking f of s value as 1 by s square plus 1, I will apply inverse Laplace transform on both sides. And we already know that it is sine t. And we got f of t value as sine t. So, we want f of t minus a. So, it is sine of in place of t, I have to write t minus a. From the question a is equal to pi. So, f of t minus pi is nothing but sine t minus pi. So, this is second shifting theorem. So, what this second shifting theorem states, after applying the second shifting theorem, so the theorem statement states that e power minus a s into f of s is nothing but f of t minus a with t positive and 0 if t less than a. If you compare, it will be f of t minus pi. We got t minus pi as sine of t minus pi. And after substituting sine of t minus y and bringing it as common, it is 1 if t positive and 0 if t less than pi. So, which is nothing but h of t minus pi. So, h of t minus pi is a heaviside function or the unit strip function. 
so stay connected with my videos and don't forget to leave a comment and press subscribe button and bell icon next to it so keep watching and i'll be posting many more videos and thank you for now